welcome our St. John's community, honored guests, and our graduates. Thank you for coming out of your irregular sleeping schedules to experience this momentous occasion we have all been looking forward to for the past 12 years. While we are unable to put on our typical celebration at Calvary Temple, what's important is that we are still acknowledging this day in the most fitting way we can. We would like to thank our administration and staff for making this possible, even with all the challenges COVID has put in our path. And my personal thanks to Ms. Enns and Ms. Gammon for helping with this speech. I'm sure everyone would love to go back to sleep, but we'll make this quick and sweet like our senior year has turned out to be. The St. John's class of 2020 has weathered many storms together, and I really just wanted to end the year with an amazing senior skip day. Oh wait, we just did, for the past three and a half months. Still, no worries, we have plenty of memories to reflect on that we will carry with us for years to come. There are many teachers, from the main floor all the way to the third, that we've had a life talk with, at least once. There's Mr. Suban, who often taught his classes of vulnerability. I didn't understand at the time why we would be rolling on the floor or ripping pieces of paper apart. I just thought it was weird. Until I realized it was about having the courage to make mistakes and stepping out of the box. Ms. O taught us not only about the human body, but also the world. She talked of causes like climate change, helping developing countries, and creative ways to spread joy in our school. Ms. Proven, who pushed us to meet our potential, treated us like young adults, listened to our problems, and most importantly, comforted us with advice and snacks. Regardless of who's impacted you directly in your time here, we can all agree that the staff at St. John's are some of the best people you'll ever meet. Being forced to stay apart from them these past few months has made us appreciate the relationships we built with them even more. Under the guidance of these teachers, each one of us has gone through countless changes in our time here. We came in as cubs, from different places, at different times, and somehow all made it to this day. Our journeys to graduation may vary, but it is a fact that we've all experienced different struggles and came out on top. I've heard of many stories of how St. John's has turned into a new home for students that were never given the opportunities they deserve. While we may often have to prove ourselves to the public, it is known not only to our community, but to our students as well, that this is a place of learning, security, memories, and relationships that truly make this school our home. A home that has helped us grow from silly, meek, foolish grade sevens who didn't know who they were, to potential doctors, police officers, lawyers, and who knows what else. Since grade nine, we've been walking down these halls, counting down the days when we will finally get out. Sometimes we pass by class potlucks, and you know you hit the jackpot when you get some of Chase Kaminsky's deep fried Oreos. Speaking of food, put your hand up if you miss our unhealthy menu of poutine, burgers, and pizza bagels. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Mr. Schroeder's contributions to our school community have filled our bellies so we can learn to our potential. The breakfast and lunch program, as well as the after-school homework club, followed by a hot meal, provided many students in our community with food security. Beyond that, his scholarships and bursaries allow students to focus on their education and futures, rather than providing for their family survival. For that, we thank him. We have all these memories, but it's time to turn over a new leaf. There will be new challenges to face as we set out in our individual paths. It's so easy to give up, but this is the time to make something out of ourselves. Our entire education was not just about grades, but more about our take. Specifically, what we are going to take from this experience. We didn't study for 12 years just to let a pandemic get in the way. I challenge you to look at COVID-19 as a blessing. I mean, seriously, who else can say they not only survived, but finished high school the same year a pandemic stopped the world in its tracks? We may have run out of toilet paper, but we still managed to get our diplomas. 
we'll all be moving forward in the most peculiar way into an unknown time. No one can say we weren't trying to be original. In this decade, we will become adults. We'll grow up, have families of our own, and maybe kids will ask us about what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. And you'll tell them all about the TikTok challenges you mastered at home. Even though this isn't the grad we thought we'd have, I hope you see how lucky we are. There are people all around the world who are not only supporting our graduating year, but also making these celebrations happen virtually. We have to remember that the world is still spinning. It may just seem slower than usual. If you're like me, you realize you're still here, looking for more adventure and looking for more out of this life. So I invite you, actually, I dare you. I dare you to take your current experiences and transform them into your own stories that you can be proud of. Many of us are reconnecting with the world by spending more of our time in nature. Others are discovering new passions like cleaning their room. Some are continuing classes despite the current events and many others are standing up for change. I can't say this enough, but we really are lucky. This world will soon be in our hands for we are the future. I know it's cheesy, but it's true. This decade before us is uncharted waters where we are the pioneers who will not look back at what could have been, but look forward to what can be. We are no longer the little cubs who started here in grade 7. We are tigers. We each need to find our way to make our mark. And it doesn't matter where, it just matters that we find purpose in what we do. Instead of aiming for the moon, let's aim for a whole other galaxy. If we fail, we'll land on the Milky Way. Thank you and congratulations to the St. John's High School graduates of 2020. We made it! We're adaptable, we're innovative, we're successful learners, and we're the graduating class of 2020.